ICLA. Jill Atkins here. I'm part of the finance and admin team here at CLA, and I have the privilege of uh, leading us in prayer for our 14th day as we conclude our 14 days of prayer and fasting as a community. Today, we're going to be focusing on praying for our local and global missions partners, as well as partnering churches. And a few, a uh, few verses that I felt to just bring our hearts in to align with the heart of the Lord on this. So the first one is 1 Corinthians 12, verses uh, 12 to 20. The body is a unit, though it is made up of many parts. And though all its parts are many, they form one body. So it is with Christ. For we were all baptized by one spirit into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slave or free, and we were all given the one spirit to drink. Now the body is not made up of one part, but of many. If the foot should say, because I am not a hand, I do not belong to the body, it would not for that reason cease to be part of the body. And if the ear should say, because I'm not an eye, I do not belong to the body, it would not for that reason cease to be part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, where would the sense of hearing be? And if the whole body were an ear, where would the sense of smell be? But in fact, God has arranged the parts of the body, every one of them, just as he wanted them to be. If they were all one part, where would the body be? As it is, there are many parts, but one body. So again, recognizing God has called us to so many different things. We are not all called to fulfill the same role. And that's the beauty of the body and the family that he has created is that we're actually meant to fulfill different parts. And as a result, have a more complete impact and then the second uh, verse that I felt like the Lord uh, wanted me to read and really, again, to align our hearts with was Ephesians 3, 14 through 19. For this reason, I kneel before the Father, from whom his whole family in heaven and on earth derives its name. I pray that out of his glorious riches, we may be, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power, together with all the saints, to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. So I just felt that we were to really pray into not only the encouraging of different ministries of those global partners and churches and unity of those things of those groups but as well that those leaders those volunteers those members would continue to be rooted and established in the love of Christ that they would continue to receive revelation of who he is because it's as we are continue to be transformed by who Christ is and the work that he's done, that we have the most impact. So let's pray. God, we thank you for these 14 days and all of the things that we've been able to pour into, the things we've been able to intercede into. And we ask that they would not just be 14 days, but that they would become a lifestyle of prayer, a lifestyle of pursuing, seeking you and partnering with you that even as Romans talks about that we don't always know how to pray, but the Holy Spirit is able to pray through groanings in line with your will. And so we ask that we would continue to do that, that we would partner with your will. We would partner with the things that you desire, that we would continue to pray as Jesus did. Father, your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. We thank you that you are drawing us closer to you and closer to one another through prayer, through community, through your spirit. Thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. We're looking forward to worshiping together with you this morning, CLA. Can't wait to see you. Bye.